Good morning. Technology has ch changed the way that we shop online, but can it do the same for the high street? I'm at Europe's largest retail fair for technology, trying out some of the gadgets designed to make shopping easier and a little bit more fun. 25 past six. Uh, it's been a tough few years uh, for the high street with many shops being squeezed and sometimes squashed by the tech giants. Uh, but could new technology hold the key for the traditional retailers to improve the old customer experience? Well, Ben is at a retail business technology expo at Olympia in London. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. Did you even know that there was such a thing? Well, apparently there is, and this is Europe's biggest. Um, and we've talked a lot, haven't we, about how technology is changing the way that we shop online and it's meant tough times for the high street. Well, the high street is fighting back. Take a look at this. This is a digital store set up by BT here. Uh, and I want to show you some of the inventions that they've got on display because this really could change the way that we go to the shops and the way that we use physical stores rather than relying online. So this one perhaps not particularly aimed at me, it has to be said, but maybe for the women out there, want to try on a bit of makeup, want to work out what works for them. Well, how about this one? So let's change my eyeshadow. I think I'm going to go for a look like that. How about some new eyelashes? I think that is a particularly good look for me. Uh, so we're going to talk about how all this sort of stuff is changing the way that we shop and whether that's a good look for me. Uh, but before that, let's get the news, the travel and the weather wherever you're watching breakfast this morning. See you very soon. Thank you, Kat. Uh, some of our best-known retailers, like Debenhams, like House of Fraser, even John Lewis, have been experiencing really tough times recently. Shoppers abandoned the high street, but could a little innovation tempt us back? Mm -hmm. Ben is at Europe's biggest retail technology show to find out more. And you've always be, already been showing us interesting stuff with mirrors. Uh, tell us more. Is that, is that a mannequin? Uh, yeah, I'll not repeat that makeup quite uh, yet. Uh, we'll save that for later. Uh, but morning to you. Yeah, we're at uh, Europe's largest retail technology expo. Uh, and it's looking at how the high street can fight back. We know technology's changed the way that we shop online, but you know what role will the high street have in all of this? Well, let me show you some of the stuff, because this looks like a pretty traditional rack of clothes, doesn't it? Well, no, it's high tech. So I take a top. I put it on the, uh, the uh, rack in the changing room. It tells me what it is, how big it is, how much it costs. And maybe I decide, actually, you know what? I want a different size. So uh, maybe I'll try to choose maybe a six or an eight or a different size. Put that on there, request that, and it will send that message back to the shop staff and they'll bring another one in. So you just add the second one to the shelf and it'll tell you all the details you need to know. So this one's slightly larger size and therefore I can add it to the bag and pay on the way out. Uh, well, with me is uh, Alison. Alison, good morning. You're from B. Um, I mean, you've got some more technology here. Um, this is pretty innovative as well because it looks pretty familiar. It looks like a watch on a rack, but tell me what it does. Well, typically in a store, you have products like these that look very, very similar, and you can't actually very quickly and easily see the different features and functionality, even if they do have a label that you can read. But with a sensor underneath them, you can put them down and immediate, immediately see features and functionality and contrast which one might be appropriate for you. And this is all the stuff that you can currently do online by just adding all these things, but you're saying you can now do this in a shop? Absolutely, you can do this in store if you have sensors on, on, on the objects that you're trying to get information about. How realistic is it that we'll see this stuff in our stores pretty soon? It, it sounds like a great idea. It involves a lot of cash and a lot of technology, doesn't it? Yes, yes and no, but it's actually in stores now, it's being piloted and the reception from customers for the, the, the better customer experience they have will generate an ROI for resellers. Yeah, and that return on investment really important of course, isn't it? Because they're facing a pretty tough time right now, many retailers. They've got to do something to fight back. Is this the way to get people back in store? Absolutely. The, the resale store isn't dying, but it does need to evolve. It very much needs to change. And using technology to personalise and give you that better, richer in-store experience that you typically have online is the way to go and the way to, and the way to survive. Uh, we'll talk more a little later. For now, Alison, thanks so much. I'll leave you with your technology. Let me introduce you, though, to Kate, a retail expert. Kate, good morning. Um, you know, we've seen some of that stuff in action now about how it might change our stores. Um, they've really got to do something now. It's adapt or die, isn't it, for our high street? Absolutely. Um, I work a lot in America, and over there they talk about retail cataclysm, and they have expectancy of 9,000 stores closing this year. People are talking about half of all American malls closing by 2023. I mean, that's a pessimistic uh, view, but essentially everybody expects 30% of employees in retail to be gone within the next 10 years. 
So they've got to do something. Is this the answer? Is giving us all the functions that we take for granted online and putting them into a store? And I suppose the benefit then of having the store is you can touch it, you can feel it, you can try it on in a way you can't online. Put it this way, I've never had a woman ask me ever if there will be no stores in the future. <laughs> I've been asked that question so many times by men. Women love shopping. For us, it's hunting and gathering. So no, stores will never go away. But yes, there will be new retail and this is what we're seeing now coming out of China. Wonderful. Kate, for now, thanks so much. Really nice to see you. Uh, so we'll have a look around this exhibition and show you a little more a little later. And I don't know if you can see this. This is Bo. Uh, this is the uh, assistant that's been helping us uh, in the store this morning. So we'll introduce you to some of the robots as well. Uh, and we'll show you around this uh, store because there's all sorts of gadgets, gizmos and inventions designed to make shopping a bit easier. And uh, if Bo's anything to go by, a little bit more fun as well. OK, thank you very much. I quite like that, I like a bit of technology in my shopping. Do Try you? and make it a bit more fun. Yeah. Do you not? No, are you... No, I'm, not, I'm not convinced. I'm going to watch all morning and see if Ben can convince me. Do you browse? Are you a browser or do you go no, to shop a, to I, buy? I, I, I'm very direct. I'm like, right, I need to go and buy a jacket. That is what I'm going to do. I'm okay, not going so to get you distracted. You don't like, I'm going to the shops? For no, the no. Right, yeah, good, OK. <laughs> is that quite, OK? We're quite similar on that, <laughs> on that side. Normally we're very different on most things, but that's, that's something we can combine My goodness, on shopping. we can agree on something. This is beautiful. Um, Carol's here this morning with the weather for us. And Carol, there's... Good morning. Technology has changed the way that we shop online, but can it do the same for the high street too? I'm at Europe's largest retail show looking at how new inventions are changing the way we shop and also making it a bit more fun. And I'll introduce you to Pepper a little later too. 26 minutes past seven. We've been talking about um, technology and how that might change our shopping habits. Uh, ben is out and about meeting some robots as well. Morning. Uh, morning to you. Yeah, welcome to the Retail Technology Exhibition. It's down here in London. It's the biggest of its kind in Europe. Uh, and there's all sorts of things going on looking at how they'll change our shopping experience. And I met Pepper a little earlier. Um, so I want to introduce you to Pepper once again. Morning, Pepper. How are you? Should we fist bump? Pounded. Yeah. Let's go. So meeting Pepper, my new friend, uh, who is changing all sorts of things in the retail environment, maybe making it easier for people to, well, perhaps use all the benefits that they get from shopping online, but do it in a store. And we've seen all sorts of new inventions. And this place is full of them. There's uh, loads of exhibitors here looking at how uh, they can fight back against that threat from online technology, because, of course, we know that more of us shopping online and the high street says it is going to fight back and use some of that same technology to get us back in the stores. So uh, I'm going to uh, speak to some of the people affected, look at some of the new ways and some of the new gadgets and inventions that have been uh, uh, created to help in that fight back. But I think it's fair that I let Pepper do the next bit. So uh, from both of us, Pepper, take it away. Before that, let's get the news, travel and weather where you are watching breakfast this morning. Um, 7.53, so some of our best-known retailers, what Debenhams, House of Fraser, even John Lewis, have been having tough times recently as shoppers abandon the high street. But what we're looking at today mm. is could technology, innovation, tempt them back? Well, Ben is at one of Europe's biggest retail technology shows to find out a little bit more. We've had robots already. What have we got next? Is that toast behind you? Oh, it's gone. Uh, morning to you. Yeah, a little bit more mundane, but equally important. Uh, I just want to start with, because uh, these are some of the technological inventions that these could be uh, video screens on the edge of your shelf at the supermarket. They might show things like recipes and ingredients, that sort of thing. But these are a big revolution because these are electronic, so they can all be controlled, price labels for the edge of the shelf, but controlled by central office. So maybe there's a spate of good weather, so they put the price of sausages for your barbecue up, or maybe something's approaching its sell-by date, so they can automatically cut the price to clear it off the shelves. So some important changes are all part of the exhibition here, but come with me into the store of the future um, and let me show you some of the inventions. I mean, it looks pretty typical, doesn't it, like a normal store. Uh, but Alison's with me. Alison, good morning. Good morning. Um, Look, you're responsible for all of this. Looking at some of the ways that you know retail will change in future, talk me through what you've got here. I mean, these bags, it looks like a pretty typical shop. What's it do? Well, if, if you were online and you, you clicked on the bag, you'd immediately get all the product information. But as you can see here, 
typically this happens quite often in a store, the tag's missing. With clever technology inside the bag, I place it down here. You see, down here you've got all the information about the bag. I even have lots of suggestions and recommendations of things that might go with it. If I need help, I can request help. So it's making the online experience come into the store and enriching the, the, the experience you get in store, having everything at your fingertips as you would in online. Yeah, it's absolutely giving those retailers on the high street the chance to fight back against online. Alison, for now, thanks very much. Well, let me introduce you to Kate from Squeeze Through here. Uh, Kate, morning. Um, you know, we're looking at some of these inventions. They all sound wonderful, but how likely are they to happen in reality? I think very likely. I think um, they are going to be a hygiene factor, though, in the future. As a futurist, I have to look at the sort of five to ten year future. This stuff is all brilliant and we will see it on the high street because it's good for customer experience. But I think what will really shift the dial in terms of reversing this potential retail cataclysm that we're hearing about in America is essentially the use of artificial intelligence and big data in order to completely optimise every single individual store to its local population. Yeah, it's so interesting, Kate, for now. Thanks so much. Well, come with me and let me introduce you to Matt. Matt's in charge of this whole exhibition. Matt, I mean, we're hearing that. Retail has to change, mm -hmm. adapt or die. Yep. And we're seeing in this exhibition there's all sorts of ways that that's happening. I mean, just give me some of the highlights. What will we see from here in our stores? Well, it, it, it's everything. I mean, it's customer experience. It's all based around that. How can they make the experience for the shopper more immersive and give them that better experience, more personalised? So there's a lot going on. There's, and that can be AI, that can be robotics, as you've seen earlier, or it can be simply like an electronic shelf label as you've just seen. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Matt, for now, thanks so much. Thank we'll you. talk more a little later. I mean, you can see there, Bo, one of the robots, the idea is that he would give you a bit of advice, maybe a few directions, help you navigate the store and work your way around. But uh, we'll talk more about that after eight and I'll show you some of the other robots that are changing the way that we shop and allowing those high street retailers to fight back against the online ones. So uh, for me, uh, we'll get a bit more of that later, but let's get uh, the news, the travel and the weather wherever you're watching breakfast this morning. We'll see you very soon. Good morning. Technology has changed the way that we shop online, but can it do the same for the high street? Well, I'm at Europe's biggest retail technology exhibition, looking at some of the new inventions designed to make it easier and a bit more fun to shop on the high street. And Carol has the weather. Morning. Uh, we have been talking about uh, technology and retailers and uh, how things might be changing. Uh, ben is, I think, he's, is he looking at the special mirror again? Oh, yes, he is. You look lovely. <laughs> Ben's in makeup. Morning. See, what do you think? You think that's my colour? No. <laughs> Good, thanks. Uh, Look, this is an amazing better kit that we've discovered down here this morning. Uh, this is all part of the retail uh, technology exhibition, and it's looking at new ways that high street retailers can fight back. So, you know, look, this magic mirror means I can change, oh, maybe my eyeshadow, maybe I need a few new lashes, I can change what colour my lipstick's going to be. Um, I'm not going to give up the day job because I think that's probably a horrendous look. But the point is that uh, it lets high street retailers fight back against all of that technology that we've got used to using online. And when it's online, we can compare different products. Maybe we can shop around a bit more and you feel you can't do that in the high street. Um, let me just show you this. I mean, for example, if you took um, a dress or a top off a shelf, just hang it here and it'll tell you what it is, how much it costs, what are the colours it's available in. Take it off again and all of that just disappears. So the point of it is it gives uh, retailers more options and it lets them compete more effectively with uh, online competitors. Uh, Kate's with me. Good morning. Uh, let's talk about some of the challenges for retailers right now. They absolutely need to adopt this technology if they're going to survive, don't they? Well, in America, they're talking about retail apocalypse and they're talking about half of all malls in America disappearing by 2023. So this is incredibly serious time. It's an inflection point for retail. This kind of stuff that we have at this show today is important. But to be honest, within two years, it's just going to be a hygiene situation. You'll have to have a smart changing room for people want to want to go to your store at all. Otherwise, why not just buy online? There are much bigger issues at stake here, and that is about the use of artificial intelligence to gather and use mass data about your customers, unattributed here in the West, um, not the case in China, in order to configure each and every individual store 
to the desires and the needs of the local population. That's already happening in China. They don't have the privacy issues that we have, so it's much more complicated here. But once you see what's happening in China, you think, whoa, there is going to be no going back. And it's coming over here within the next year. They have convenience stores. I mean, we talk about Amazon Go in America, but they've had convenience stores where you can just walk in, pick stuff up and walk out for the last couple of years. Absolutely, it's changing the way we shop, isn't it? Kate, thanks very much. Um, you might have met, uh, seen us when we met Pepper a little earlier. Um, Jonathan's one of the people behind Pepper. Um, look, Pepper absolutely designed to help us when we go to the store, isn't it? Just talk me through some of her uses. Absolutely. So Pepper today uses it in a variety of stores in Europe. So, for example, in Carrefour, Renault's car dealerships, greeting shoppers, greeting consumers promoting products, representing the brand in a way that's different. What Pepper really brings to the table is an emotional connection between the shopper and the robot, and that's where it's really good at creating this impact, this connection, and being able to really promote and provide the right service in the best light every day, every, all day long in the store. Yeah, it's uh, fascinating. Um, you know, Pepper, um, really intuitive um, and will, of course, be able to give you all sorts of directions, help you with all sorts of queries. Um, so, yeah, I've fallen a little bit in love with Pepper this morning, but I've been told that I have to call it it and not he or she. So um, maybe that's to keep a safe distance from the robot this morning. But um, more from us uh, over the course of the week. I'll see you very soon. I don't know whether that, that um, robot likes you or not. I think he's a little bit worried by you, Ben. It's, no, it's, the eyes went pink. That's a good thing. You're referring to the gender-neutral robot. Yeah, it's, yes. it's, ro it's robot. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and our best-selling author, Kate Moss, will be here. In